Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I am just going to explain you Spring Data Configuration Setup. How to uh, set up a Spring Data project in your Eclipse. I have uh, I've used a Maven project and I am showing you the POM file. The best practice is to include only Hibernate and the Spring Data. So these are the two important dependency you can include in the POM file. Don't include other uh, Spring Core or something because these two is enough to bring up bring all the necessary Spring and Hibernate, Hibernate related jars. Okay, so for Spring and Hibernate, just include these two dependencies hibernate entity manager and spring data jp160 okay so this will bring all the necessary jar files for your project okay so it will bring all the necessary jars then since i'm using derby database i'm using these two dependency in my form file so only hibernate entity manager spring data and derby that's all i have used in form file no no other dependency I'm using in my POM file and the next point you should be aware is you should en enable the JPA repository this annotation is very important you should enable this then transaction management aspect okay so these two annotations are very important for spring data JPA and you should have a repository extending from JPA repository which is from the spring framework okay so you should have an interface which is extending from JPA repository and you should give your entity class and the identifier whether it's long or integer okay and your service class you can auto wire the repository that you have so what will happen is when you auto wire spring is going to generate code for for this for this uh, interface it's going to generate the code for this interface and when you auto wire you will be getting all the complete object so when you call save method the save method it's the is a method generated by the spring framework find one so they are giving crud crud create retrieve update and delete operations they are giving they are generating the methods for those uh, crud operations okay so you don't have to do anything you have to just extend from the jpa repository so they will find out whichever class is extending from jpa repository generate all the crud operations so this is what behind the scenes spring is doing for you okay and in in your standalone application you can load this spring data config so you can start running JPA repository. So I've just explained to you the basic configuration setup that you should do for Spring Data in Eclipse. Hope this information is useful. Thank you and all the best.